Okay, people, we all know how this works. So I got a squirrel that got in here and ate a bunch of my vacuum lines. These are the ones that go through the firewall. 1995 Dodge Ram wagon van. It's um, There's a firewall connector here with four different vacuum lines that go to the HVAC control system. So you, if these aren't hooked up correctly, it won't work. The default is all the air blows out through the defroster. Um, and so I'm going to show you the correct routing. Um, this is after trial and error because there are no drawings, not even in the service manual. And so I thought I'd uh, show you around a little bit. You see the, the connector itself, if you can see it, has a notch um, in two locations, okay? So we'll start with the, 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 connect, the hose that's in between the two notches, okay? So that's this one right here. So that hose goes up and around and connects down to the uh, engine, way down low and back, okay? That's that one, okay? The next one as we move counterclockwise is this one right here, and it goes up and around, and it connects to the switch right here, this vacuum switch on the heater line, I guess that is, okay? And then the third one as we go counterclockwise is the bottom one. So that's this line right here, and that goes up and comes around and these are interesting because there's one is tan and one isn't. It goes all the way along the dash and it comes out along here. One is tan and one isn't. And if you follow them, you'll see that the tan one goes to the back of... Oh, geez, sorry guys. The tan one goes to the back of that. Okay and the black one goes to the front of it. It's a little uh, vacuum uh, actuator and it hooks up to an arm which controls the uh, hot cold door. So that leaves the one in the center. The one in the center, you hook it up and it goes all the way up around the dash like we said and it hooks up to the front of that switch. Okay, now here's the tricky part. These these little lines, if we look, here's the size of the line right here. So you can kind of see on the, oh, on the wheel thing here. So this is the size of the line, right? It's a very small plastic line. You can see there's little nibble marks on it even. That stuff is unavailable. I went to two different parts stores and hardware store. Nobody has anything like it. But they do sell vacuum line that will go over it. And so what I did is I took the remaining pieces and I cut a little two inch piece put it into each one of the receivers, and then I use the new vacuum line to go wherever I need to go. So that's the way you gotta do it, and this will help someone. I, I hope it does, bye.